Okay, this is the third video because the second video decided to stop for some reason. Trails of Redmond, eight foot piece of curb. This is back in the middle of the property here. I wanna show you not only the eight foot piece of curb at number 15, but also a 21 by eight repair that's under the carport. So here's your eight foot piece of curb by the trash enclosure. So that's what these are looking like. They're six by eight, okay? And then you've got install 61 and 62. There you've got tree root damage that's going right through the main drive aisle here. And they're not accounting for it. But that's one of the patches. Then you got another one that's over here. Patch number, uh, let's see, patch number 14. You got 16, 16 by 5 and 24 by 12. All patches because of tree root damage. And they're all under carports that are about 7 foot. Uh, actually a little over 7 foot. If we get this job, I'll come out because it's required that we would do a pre-con site walk to mark all the asphalt uh, repairs. Once I mark all those asphalt repairs, then I can do another video for final docket. But for now, I'm just showing you what these areas look like. So now I'm gonna take you over to another one. Uh, so where it says roots and carport, it's because there's uh, asphalt repairs under the carports. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you from this location here. I'm gonna drive you around, show you where this French drain request is at, and then I'll show you that 24 foot piece of curb. Um, I don't think I'll need to show you much anything else because it's, it's looking like it's all typical stuff. Okay, so looking at this map, as I came in from the main entrance and I was over by the pool, you go all the way down the main drive and you hang a left and then all of a sudden you take a right. And right in this location here, you've got a stop sign in this little pork shop shape curb island there, it's more triangular. But one of the requests is to have a French drain. But it also says to have a 21 foot by eight foot patch here in the middle of the road. Um, I'm looking at it right now and it does not look bad, but we're gonna go with what they say right now. And as far as a trench drain goes, um, it's showing it going all the way across the road here. So that being said, where that dark blue line is, that means if I back up and look at what we got going here, We've got, I see a couple old patches that were done. And then you have about 30 feet of road here. Let me measure it real quick. Okay, so I've got 21 feet of road from curb to curb, but I want us to put in a 30 foot trench drain. And then what we'll do is we'll pop it out underneath the curb so it'll, uh, it could flow out into, uh, into the woods here. Okay, so let's put in a 30 foot typical uh, trench drain. Okay, so according to this drawing at the very end, I figured I might as well show you the curb. You've got 24 feet of curb right there, and then you've got three different sections of curbing, 32, 32, and 37, showing right about in this location. So you've got broken curb here. Do I know exactly what spot it's gonna be? No. I know that this would be a little bit of the broken curb here. Uh, looks like they might have done some markings out here already in the past. Somebody else might have come out and marked it. So that whole section back there was your three areas of curbing. And then there's 24 feet up here to the right. And that is, as you get down here to the last section, and it's saying that it's in here. Install 77 through 80 but I don't know why because that looks like really good curb so I'm kind of at a loss there anyways this is why we have to come out and do a final measurement with uh, the company if we get the job okay 
All right, uh, the last one I'm going to show you is this 15 by 12 at the catch basin. That's going to be right in this section. Okay, so patch number two at 15 by 12. I'm coming up to that. It says it's right here at the end. And we're going to figure out if that's true or not. It says there's a catch basin here. Let's see. Okay, so I was in the wrong spot. Patch number two is down this road. And let's take a look. 15 by 12, down at the very end here. Okay, so the catch basin looks like it's doing pretty good. It's just the uh, tree root damage that's next to it. So if we're gonna do a 15 by 12, we'll probably go just outside right by the curb here and get right around this catch basin. Like I said before, the catch basin looks like it's pretty good. They just need to fix right here and they'd be fine. There's a little pocket right there. So I don't know if they're counting that as the 10 by 15. That'll need to be verified. So in the documents in Google Drive, and I think I put on Workman's, I've got all this information in there on specific scope. You've got the uh, 133 feet of curb R&R. &R. That's uh, six by eight. You got asphalt remove and replace. There's 10,709 square feet. We need to make note that if there is a drainage review required, that uh, we will be charging extra for that, but we will not know the cost until uh, that is figured out. That will be to be determined. Uh, it does say in the documents that they want us to take care of any permitting. So I guess if we needed to do a drainage review, I don't know if that's going to count as that or not. But we do need to make mention of it if there is going to be a, a drainage review that they will have to pay for the additional costs. Concrete sidewalk remove and replace. It's, there's 42 square feet, it says, on this job. And I don't remember the 42 square feet. Oh, yes, I do. That was this one right here, the 12 by 3 and a half. Okay, and then you've got the new sidewalk that they showed you on the gravel. It says 1,152 square feet. Form and pour, 4 inches. Parking lot seal coat and restripe. There's 364,250 square feet. It also includes 4,500 4, lineal... 4,580 lineal feet of yellow painted curbing. That's what the fire lane is out here. I don't see stencils out in front of it. And as far as striping goes, there's a shit ton. <laughs> and I'll, uh, I'll add it all up and I'll put it on Google Drive. Looks like they didn't want to do it for me. 1,600 lineal feet of crack fill. Uh, seven mobilizations is what they're saying in here. Recommending seven mobilizations then they're probably taking that off of previous bids because uh, oh, pr Previous seal coating because you can tell it's been seal coated out here. There's been lots of asphalt patches done out here. So um, There you have it There's a few different areas for staging in this development and it's kind of tucked away in different areas But there is areas for staging All right, any other questions? Let me know we're competing against a few different companies. Thanks